So today we are going to learn static type scoping and dynamic scoping. Now see why scoping is important. Sometimes what happens, we are having some variables called as a free variables. Now whom we are going to call as a free variables. The free variables are the variables which are used in the scope but not declared in that scope. Let us consider a variable x. I have written printx statement but here there is no declaration of x. Now what about x? What is the value of x? Or what is the data type of x? So that is a big question mark in front of us. So x is called as a free variable. So we have to find out the value as well as data type of x by using either static scoping or dynamic scoping. So the free variables are the variables which are used in the scope but not declared in the squared scope. So we have to find the value and the data type by using either static scoping or dynamic scoping. Now let us first see what is meant by static scoping. Now as we know that x is a free variable where we are looking for the value of x is its ancestor block. The ancestor block is nothing but your main block you can say. So in static scoping we are looking for the value of a free variable in main function or main call. And then what about dynamic programming? In dynamic programming, the value of free variable is shown at the point of invocation. Now what is meant by point of invocation? Now let us see that this is the function s and here is your function p. The function p is calling function s. So function s here the value of x is 25. Now the point of invocation is nothing but from where the function is called. As the function s is called from function p, in dynamic scoping the s will look here. So the free variable value will be decided at the point of invocation. The value of x is 25 in function p. So according to dynamic programming where we are using the concept of point of invocation, the value of x becomes 25. Now let us see what happened in a static scoping. We are referring to the main block. Now let us consider there is a main function where the value of x is 10. Now, in this case, the free variable x will refer the value in main and its value becomes 10. So that is the basic difference between static scoping and dynamic scoping. Let us once revise what we have seen. We are having one free variable x, whom we are going to call a free variable, a variable which is not declared in the scope. So, we have to solve its problem by using either dynamic scoping or static scoping. If we are using a static scoping, we will follow the ancestor block. Ancestor block is nothing but your main function. So for x variable, we look into the main function. The value of x in main function is 10. So the value will be 10 in static scoping. In dynamic scoping, we are using the concept of point of invocation. Point of invocation is nothing but where, where the function is called. The function is called from the function p and in function p we are having the value of x as a 25. So in dynamic scoping the value of x free variable becomes 25 because we are using the concept of point of invocation. Hope you have understood the concept of static and dynamic programming. Let us take one pseudo code. Now let us consider this is a pseudo code which is having one main function and two other function called as show and small. Here again we are having a variable x. Now let us start from the main function. As you all know the execution of our program will start from the main function. Here we are having a variable x whose value is 0.25. After that we have called the function show 
as we call the function show the control will be passed to the function show here we are having the function show inside the function we are having a single statement that is print x here x is our free variable now our problem is that we have to decide the value of x let us take both the conditions that is static scoping as well as dynamic scoping here i am having static and here i am having dynamic scoping now let us see the free variable value x in terms of static scoping show is a function so x is a free variable in static scoping as we have seen we have to follow the ancestor block that is our main function so whatever the value of x is in main function will be printed over here that is 0.25 now next we will come back to the main function the second call is for small small will get called in second function call inside small we are having x as a real and we are having the value of x is 0.25 after that we have again called the function show so control will be transferred to the function show again as we know in show we are having the variable x which is a free variable for a free variable concept in a dynamic programming we will refer to the ancestor block that is our main block so again the value printed for the x is 0.25 so in static programming both the time the value printed is 0.25 as the free variable is referring to the ancestor block which is nothing but a main block now let us see what happened in a dynamic programming in dynamic programming again the execution is going to start from a main function in main function we are having x variable 0.25 then the show function is called in show function again is we are having x as a free variable but this time we are using a dynamic scoping which works on the principle of point of invocation now see the show function is called from the main function so for the value of x we will refer to the main function the main function value of x is 0.25 so in dynamic programming the first value printed is 0.25 next the small function is called now in small function again we are calling the show function so we will go to the show function function again here again we are having the free variable x but as we are using a dynamic programming we have to see the point of invocation the point of invocation for a show function is function small and the function small is having the value of x is 0.125 so in this case the value printed will be 0.125 instead of 0.25 because we are looking for the point of invocation and for a show function this is the point of invocation and point of invocation the value of x is 0.125 so it will be printed 0.125 so that is the basic difference between static programming static scoping and dynamic scope hope you have understood the concept of static and dynamic scoping thank you